Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial of logo designing. Today I'm going to show you how to design banners, labels and badge templates in Illustrator. So let's get started. Now, first create a new document. Click File, New and create a new document. I'll already create a new document. And click on the Choose Rectangle tool and make Rectangle. Change the color in blue. If you don't have swatches, go to Windows, click on the swatches. Now, click on the background, choose the pen tool, and do this. And close the pad. Now, go, go again to the swatches and change the color into the dark. Now, Click this pad, go to edit, copy, edit, paste, right click on the mouse, transform and reflect, type 19 degrees. Move this object like this, now click on this rectangle, go to the edit, copy, edit, paste in front and move like this. Now. Make this rectangle a little bit smaller. Click on this rectangle. Click on Pen tool and add a point like this. Now click on the direct selection tool. Select direct selection tool. Click on this acre point and move Hold Shift. Now. Go to the Windows, Transparency, and change transparency of this subject to 90%. Now click on this object again, go to the Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in front, and move this subject right here. Now right click on the mouse, go Transform, Reflect, Type 19 degrees, and connect these two objects. Now select all objects and go to the object group. Hold shift and do this. Now click on this object, go to edit, copy, edit, paste. Now click on this object again, go to the effect, warp, click on the arch and change the band into the 15% and click OK. Now click on this object again, edit, copy, edit, paste, go again to the effects, warp, Arch and type minus 15%. Click OK. Move this. Hold Shift. We don't need this anymore. And make it a little bit smaller. Hold Shift. Click on the rectangle tool and make rectangle. Change the color to the green and click on the background. Now click on the pen tool and do this again. And close the pen. Now make it a little bit darker. Click on this, edit, copy, edit, paste. Right click on the mouse, transform, reflect to 90 degrees. 
can do this. Now click on this object, edit, copy, edit, paste in front, and move it like this. Make it a little bit smaller. Click on this pad. Click on the pen tool. Add a acre point. Click on the drag selection tool. Click on the acre point. Move and hold shift. Change this. Change the color. Change the opacity to 19%. Into transparency. And add it. Click the subject. Add it. Copy. Add it. Paste in front. Move. Add it. Transform. Reflect. 90 degrees. And connect. Now. Select all objects and expand. Go to the line segment tool, choose line segment tool and make line. Hold shift and make line. Now, click on this line and change color to the white. Move this line right here and go to the windows, click on the stroke. Now change the stroke to 3%. Click on dash line and type in dash 15 in gap 5. Click on this project cap and make a little bit. Click on the file. Make it three. Okay. Change gap to the three. And to six. Six is better. Now click on this line, hold shift, hold alt, and drag this line right here. Now click on this line, go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and move it right here and make it a little bit smaller. Like this. Now, click on this line, hold shift, hold alt, and do this. Move this a little bit. And make it a little bit smaller. Click on this line, click on this line, hold shift, hold alt, and move, move like this. Move this. Again. And make this little bit small. Now, mark all, select all, and edit. It go to object and group. Now hold shift and make it smaller. Move this object right here. Now go to the polygon tool, click on the background and type 20 sides. Okay, change the color into this rose. Choke no rose color. Hold shift and make it a little bit bigger. Now go to the FX, go to the barb, go to the 
Distort Transform and click on the background load. Type 10%. You can make and click preview. We can change this like this. We can play with this object. And create something. Okay, I will type ten percent. Okay. Now click on this again. Hold Shift and make it bigger. Now go to the go to this go to the rectangle tool. Like cho choose a lips tool. Hold shift and make a and make a leaf. Now fill click no stroke change to the white and move all this into the center. Now click on this click on this ellipse go to the Windows, click on stroke and click on dash line. Let's see. Now change to three percent. Now it looks much better. Select all objects, go to object group. Choose a lips tool, hold shift and make a lips. Choose color, let's see, orange. Now go to the effects, go to the distort and transform, go to the zigzag. Now click on preview and change size. Change to the 15 and increase segments and 17. You can play with this object also. You see how it looks cool. I'll put 15 and click OK. Now click on this object, go to the FX, go to the styles, click on round corners and put six pixels. Now one more object left. Go choose rectangle tool and make rectangle change color blue now click on the pen tool choose pen tool and make a pad make a anchor point click on the direct selection tool click on the anchor point and move Sorry, and another, and another pen. Click again on the pen tool and make acre point. Now choose direct selection tool, click on the acre point and move. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't, didn't make well. Again, pen tool. Now hold shift and make like this. Now click on this object, go to the effects, go to the warp, 
go to the bridge and take a view make this 30 per, 30% and vertical 15% click ok now I'll use this object again click edit edit copy edit paste and this subject right here and make it a little bit bigger like this more Now, click on this such a object again, click Object and Group. Now, click on this path, hold Shift, choose this path, this line, and this line. Right click on the mouse, go Transform, Arrange, Send to Back. Now, it looks more realistic. Click on this path, click on this path, click on this line, hold Shift. Hold Shift and click on this pad. Now, right click on the mouse, click on Range, Send to Back. You can also type text right here if you want something. Let's see. Type Logo. Hold Shift and make it. And Change the color to the white. Oh, and that's all for. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.